Hey everyone, this is Gary Kay, and obviously you're looking at a video version of my Rants and Rays podcast today. I love video versions because that means we're going to do a demo. Uh, and uh, obviously, uh, you can see HubVC in the background. We are with uh, T1V CTO Jim Morris. Jim, how are you? I'm good. Good to see you again, Gary. You're, you're heading to ISE just like we are. Uh, you're in uh, Hall 14 in uh, stand number M120. And uh, you're going to be demonstrating the HubVC. Now, what's cool about the HubVC is it's a collaboration board, like a lot of, a lot of others, or it's the collaboration software, I should say, like many others, that you can put on uh, various collaboration board companies, which we'll talk about. You have your own as well. But the cool feature here is that it is platform agnostic and that you can launch into any video uh, platform or most of the video platforms with one touch. Talk about that for just a second. What is it compatible with and how does it work? Yeah, so we've developed it to be compatible with the, you know, the three most kind of prominent VC platforms, which is, uh, you know, Microsoft Teams, uh, WebEx, and Zoom. You know, and and there there was a lot of design uh, that went around. Hey, we got to make this really easy to use. Where sometimes people don't even know how to use those apps, even though maybe it's standardized in their company. We got to make it single click to start a meeting on the calendar, single click to start an instant meeting, or single click just to share your your content. That's right. Yeah, and, and what happens is when you hit, when you click on one, I don't know if you have the ability to do that now or you're going to demonstrate that for us, you go into their user interface, so it's familiar to whatever the user is using, but it gives you the ability to have a room that can literally uh, manage your, all your conference uh, applications. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So if you want, I'll just jump right into a demo so people can yep. see that right now. Um, so, so this is the HubVC product. Um, you know, just a quick, quick thing. It's, it's typically, uh, you know, you can buy this through your AV integrator uh, channel and some of the other partners that we have or integrating it uh, with some partners that we have. For example, Avacor, we have a bundled solution with Avacor. We'll be doing that mm -hmm. with some other uh, display manufacturers also. But that's what you see here, display, camera, appliance that drives the system. Uh, and of course, our HubVC software. Now, um, you know, as, as we talked about, there's three main features in HubVC. That's, wi that's uh, whiteboarding, uh, sharing your screen wirelessly using our AirConnect platform, which I'll talk about in a minute, and uh, video conferencing. And the video conferencing, I already talked about the three platforms it supports, but you know, when you come into a room, it'll be up here on the calendar. And as you can see in this, this, uh, you know, in this demo, there's a Teams meeting right here scheduled. And then right after that, there's a Zoom meeting scheduled. And this is so easy. You just come in, you just tap the button on the screen, and it goes right into Teams. You know? And if you don't know anything about Teams, it's fine. It's going to do everything it needs to do to get you right on the call. You know? And we're going to join a call with uh, Aaron, who's uh, one of our remote uh, employees. Hi, Aaron. How you doing? Hey, Jim. How are you? Good. And um, what we've done is we put kind of a wrapper around all of these apps. So that even if you don't know how to use it, it's kind of standardized. And you can see that we have these buttons up here at the top. And this is some feedback that we got. Uh, you know, since we talked last, actually, we've launched the product. Uh, you know, we put it on the market. We got feedback from customers. And one thing is, uh, you know, around being able to make it easy to use and switch between the different platforms easily. So we, we have this common user interface that kind of standardizes all of the platforms. So you can see up here, there's a button that says end video conference. And another one that says start screen sharing. So if I want to share my content, I just hit that. And I'll demo that in just a minute. But um, now I'm just going to, I'm going to end by Aaron. Talk to you later. Appreciate you uh, joining. Yep. So I hit the end conference and we're out. But now say I want to jump right into the Zoom call. So I just tap the Zoom button. It does a similar thing. You can see the interface comes up for Zoom. It does what it's supposed to do. Joins right into the meeting. And, uh, you know, and if you're a power user and you know these features already, you can take control and do some other things that you would normally want to do. Um, but, you know, it's, it's designed to be super easy to do. I mean, super easy to use for coming in and just joining the meeting. And there's Cassie. How are you doing, Cassie? Hey, yeah. Jim. Yep. How are you? I'm good. Um, so that's how easy it is to jump between, you know, different, uh, different platforms. So I'll demo the other features and kind of show how they all tie into this. Yeah, because one thing that people are going to want to do is screen sharing. So talk, demonstrate that. Yeah. Now you have so, screen sharing within the platforms. Everyone knows how to use the screen sharing within the platforms. But you have screen sharing built into your platform, the HubVC platform. That's right. That's right. We have uh, what we call uh, AirConnect, and it's the technology that we've been using with our flagship product, ThinkHub, which, by the way, will also be uh, prominently shown at ISE, along with ThinkHub Multisite and ThinkHub X Canvas. But we took that collaboration technology of wirelessly screen sharing, we call it AirConnect, 
we've taken that and it's it's put right into Hub VC. And so we have Kate who's going to join uh, with her laptop and it pops right up here on the screen. Just takes up another space on the on the canvas. And uh, you know, I can actually annotate on top of this if I want. Um, yeah, well, so what's interesting to me about this is that instead of it replacing the video content on the meeting, you're actually able to augment it and see both at the same time. And I think that's a differentiation than what you would get with a dedicated platform uh, based um, collaboration board, like for example, a, a Google Jamboard, or for that matter, any of the dedicated platforms where when you do screen sharing, it's go, it goes full screen. You're able to do uh, multiple things at one time, still see the, the content as well. That's right. That's right. I mean, I think there's a couple things that we're the, you know, that are things that we do that you don't see other places in the industry. One is what we call quadcast where you have four pieces of content up here at the same time. Yeah. Um, but we also allow you to be in the video conference and show this com this content all at the same time. So, you know, we talked about the three features, uh, you know, the video conferencing, the whiteboarding and the screen sharing, all of those can happen simultaneously. So you don't have to switch. Like, oh, I want to switch over to whiteboarding, and now I want to switch to screen sharing. They're all mixed together. You got whiteboarding right here, screen sharing right there, and video conference right here. Um, so that's really powerful. Now, currently what we're doing is we're just in the video conference. And, you know, if I was just having a video conference with Cassie and all we were doing was talking, uh, I could make that full screen, you know, which is pretty standard for other ones. I just wanted to show that. But if I wanted to share this content with her, I would just hit the start screen sharing button. And it automatically goes, sets all the settings, and puts us in a video conference. And it, I mean, shares our our canvas to her, so she can see that. And I can put us back out. I can kind of hide that panel if I want to show even more content. You know, say up to four pieces of content. You know, at the same time. You know, we talked about our booth being 14 M120. You know, at ISE. I'll just write that up here. But you know, you can have four pieces of content. Uh, I can even take. Kate's live laptop and snapshot that and create an image copy. And then I can move this around, you know, so that we can, uh, we can rearrange content where we want it. If I want to put the sketch up here instead. So it's pretty, pretty powerful in terms of a real collaboration experience. You can have whiteboarding, screen sharing, uh, even snapshots of that and your video conference all at the same time. So let me ask you a couple of questions. I know this is a software platform, but you also offer it as a packaged product and you've partnered with some of the collaboration board companies. Talk about those two options. Yeah, so uh, we're showing it here actually on an Avacore screen and we have a partnership with Avacore to bundle all of this together, you know, with Avacore and Logitech for the, for the camera. Um, and this is the first, uh, you know, the first incarnation that we have as, as a bundled solution is coming mm -hmm. out with them. We'll be working with some other uh, you know, partners in the industry to come up, you know, to add some additional options about different manufacturers of collaboration boards, but this is how we're launching it currently. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You can, you can also just buy the appliance, uh, you know, for example, it's very integrator friendly. People could just get the appliance and put that with qualified uh, touch screens and qualified cameras of their own. Also. And what's, are you talking about price yet? Are you available uh, to talk about that yet? Are you delivering? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, uh, we've been very aggressive on the price target for these, you know, for example, the 65 inch is, uh, and these are MSRP numbers, the 65 inch with, you know, with the screen, the touch screen, the, the camera, the appliance, everything all in is $7,500. You know, the, uh, the 75, we have a 65, 75 and 85. And so they're like, uh, you know, 7,500, 9,500 and 12, five. I think and what about the appliance? The appliance is right at, uh, $2,500 for the appliance. Okay, and obviously all this is available at t1v.com, t the number one v.com. Uh, and Jim, as, as, he, as, as you mentioned, you're gonna be in Hall 14, uh, booth M120. It's called the Hub VC. I was, I, I, uh, was excited to be part of the uh, live launch of this product a couple of months back. Uh, I came to your headquarters. I'll be excited to see the finished product because it was, it was finished, but it was still in beta back then when I saw it, I'll be excited to see the final product. We'll actually go to their stand at ISE, shoot videos on this and all the products that they have at ISE. Um, so you can see those if you're watching this after the show by going to raypubs.com slash ISE 2020 and type in T1V in the video search window <clears throat> or go to T1V.com right now. Thanks, Jim. I appreciate it. All right. Thanks a lot, Gary. And we'll see you at ISE. We'll see you at ISE. Thanks again.